Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski. If you wonder why I look how I look and I have not shaved in more than two weeks, it's because I'm growing a beard. But never mind. Um, last few days were kind of interesting for me because the DHL couriers brought me some pretty interesting stuff that I will show you in this and in the next video. One of them is something from Matek and the second of them, actually a set of things from them, is from Eversky. Yeah, I got something from Eversky. How cool is that? Nevertheless, in this video, we will take a short look at the new VTX from Matek, but it is not the VTX for 5.8 GHz, no, no, no. It's something much, I don't want to say better, different. It's 1.3 GHz, or actually 1.2 GHz, somewhere in between. Let's take a look. I honestly love my deal with Matek when Matek sends me some cool new stuff whenever whenever they uh, design anything new and today today on my workbench something like did like this like this why am I saying like that like this appeared what is it it is a video transmitter and the video receiver actually it's not a video any video receiver hey this thing is compatible with the fat shark module i do not have my fat sharks with me so i will just use the docking as you can see yes it goes nicely into into the place and this of course you put somewhere on your model but look at the antennas look at the antennas do you see anything very specific about them yes <laughs> This is not 5.8 gigahertz video. This is 1.2, 1.3. It depends because the channels are really scattered among the frequency. Long range video. People that fly long range really use 1.2 gigahertz quite often. And uh, because, because it just gives you amazing range, comparing to the 5.8 5, 5 GHz or even 2.4, it's just the, the wave is longer, so the propagation is better, it just goes further using uh, the same output power, because in terms of op output power, this thing is not something like super, super strong. This, according to this sign over here, does 28 uh, milli no 28 dBms and that means that it's more like 600 650 630 uh, the milliwatts wait wait a second i want to check something Yep, I'm back. But very little manufacturers are really doing 1.2 gigahertz uh, hardware. There's Patron, there is something else, there is something else, and that Fox, I think Fox also does something, and that's more or less all. Why? Because 1.2 is slightly, slightly more problematic than 5.8 gigahertz because it's closer to GPS frequencies, closer to 900 megahertz, you have to use notches, some Sometimes it just does not want to work, sometimes it works, so it's slightly more problematic. But if you want to go long range, then really, yes, the 1.2 gigahertz is the frequency you really, really, really want to do. And especially until recently, until I saw this, this Matic receiver, I haven't seen a 1.2 gigahertz receiver that fits the goggles. Always you had to like have this something on the mast and that, that was not really very, very convenient. Of course, if you fly the, with the ground station, like I'm planning to start, then yeah. But if not, then well, let's say it's problematic. This one fits perfectly. Let me power this on. Okay, it started. And there is a one button. And with the one button, I can, of course, change frequency. You see, the LEDs. So it's really, 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 really simple. There is no possibility to change the output power. There is no possibility to change the band because it's only one band. You only change the channel. And there are how many channels? Um, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine HCD. I I'm not an expert in 1.3 gigahertz, so so this will have to wait. So yes, what I will want to do with this set? Definitely, I will want to test it. Um, I'm planning to do some long ranging next season and probably start some test flights. Uh, this winter because my goal for the next year is to cross some water in Europe but I will not tell you where it is I can only say that this is not the English channel and this is like 20 kilometers one way and, and back so I'm slowly preparing gathering some hardware for this so I did not really put this anywhere on any airplane it does not make sense to put it on a drone if you really want to but that doesn't make sense. On an airplane, yes. And uh, and yeah, I really... Oh, look how the antennas. The antennas are really like super nice. Uh, you see the antennas made from PCB with the logo here. Nice soldering, uh, nicely soldered coax to the ground. Really, really nice antenna. Maybe I should check the antennas. Yeah, I will check the antennas. My trusty antenna matter is here so let's see how this antenna is tuned okay i forgot how to use it yeah definitely not a 900 megahertz so let's go from here to 1.5 and the lowest point in the tune is somewhere in 1.2 gigahertz it keeps a tune pretty nicely up to 1.3 gigahertz so pretty 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 decent antenna maybe not the best antenna ever but i like how they put everything on the on the pcb so it's kind of kind of convenient uh, from the beginning i think that's all for today, I'm really looking forward to put this Matek long range into one of my flying contraptions. And uh, oh yeah, those are prototypes, pre-sale samples, so you cannot get them yet. I asked the Matek when they will be available and uh, if I will get the answer before this video is published, I will give the answer in the description of the video. Until the next one, bye bye!